Pacificus Clinic. Oh. Oh, the first thing I need to do, obviously. Look at that beast of a man. Gritty doesn't need your tutorials. And here lies Gritty. Dead. But... Now we get the good good. If it'll load. Please load. Yay. Yep, don't need that. Give me my axe. And my pistol. Uh, no. Uh, pistol. Oh, and my, my notebook and belt. But if Greedy had been strapped, that 14-year-old uh, wouldn't have fucked him up. This is something I do actually really want to talk about. Um, so Bloodborne is like one of my favorite games of all time, if not my favorite game of all time. Um, I find it incredibly fun. I love the setting. I love the uh, monsters. I love the weapons. I love the armor. It's all great. Um, but my favorite thing is the way it trains you. So, um, like a lot of games, it has a, a basic tutorial. Will will give you messages to say like, hey, this is how you do this, this is how you do this. But, um, that's not really what I mean. By training, I mean like, it gives you, it lets you die. And then says, hey, here's something to defend yourself with. Go fuck up that thing that just killed you. Like, immediately. I always forget about you. And m one of my favorite things about this game in general is uh, the rally mechanic. So... The way that you lose health, you see if I get hit, I have a little bit of extra health left. And if I hit something, I'll get that health back. It is really good for showing just like, oh look at this, like, even if you get hit, it's not the end of the world. You still have a lot to do. Like, you can still hit them back. It makes it very offense focus, which is one of the reasons I like it more than I like other Souls games. It's not that I don't like the other Souls games. I love Dark Souls uh, 3 and 2. I haven't played one yet, though. Um, it really does just feel like a hey, just go fuck these people up kind of game. Especially with the trick weapons. The trick weapons are all fucking fun. Like, I'm using the axe, but... Kane's super cool, the saw cleaver's great. You all have these alternate forms, and sometimes the alternate forms will change your moveset, really, and how you have to play around what you have. Right. Here's gonna be the real test. I'm going to try and fight this Executioner. Do you remember his parry timings?
Ooh, damn, I forgot about that backswing. Oh, it's gonna be a good run. You can feel it. You drop blood jabs sometimes, too. Don't you? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. I wish they hadn't patched out the, uh, the skip. Oh, shit. That was fun. Still a college student. Come here, fuckers. Should I kill Eileen? No, I don't know any safe spaces yet. I wonder if I can... I should be able to cheese Eileen out. Remember how to cheese I land. Oh, I gotta talk to her first. What a mess. Yep, yep, full hunters mark, thank you. Check out the cape, yep. Okay. Oh, no, she's still alive down there. Fuck. All right. Um, do we have enough health? I'm gonna drop down here. First. Oh, yeah, I totally do. Oh, shit. <laughs> I laid. All right, let's go these rats first. Shards. Alright. Where are you? There you are. Oh, okay. Um. There we go. Oh, what the hell? I'm moving. My turn off. Throwing knife. Throwing knife. Crow hunter badge. Then I just start down with the saw spear. Oh, the madman's knowledge now. Yay! Useful. Should I kill the cleric beast first or Gasquan? I just need to kill the pig. Yep, yep, I know. More. There we go. Cold blood do. You drop the soul hunter badge. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Then up here. Then up here. Should bring me behind them. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. There's the bridge. There we go. Shoot him. 
it. I have played this game so much. <laughs> And I have a, a madman's knowledge actually too, which means I can go awaken the. Uh, oh, I can awaken the doll. Come on! Oh my god, I'm so weak. I don't even put kill in one parry yet. Close though. Oh, right. More time. Oh, come on, really? Oh, God. Ooh. Close one. Shiny coins, huh? You should drop. Blood vials. You drive blood vials all the time. Oh, also, look at the shiny over here. But also, there's this fucker in a wheelchair right here. He will shoot you if you go grab for shiny. So, shiny. Oh, this point, blood cocktails are gonna come in handy. There are a couple of bosses that I still, despite the fact I've played this so many times, that I still struggle with. Um, I can't, for some reason, for me, I can't get the Blood Starved Beast in the loop. Um, like, for some reason, I always kind of mess it up. Yep, yep. Um, and Amelia. Always can never kill Amelia. <laughs> Alright. First things first. Yeah, I know you're the doll. I love you. Uh, I think I'm gonna do the Cleric Beast. I'll fight the Cleric Beast and then I'll fight Gascoigne. The Cleric Beast was the first boss I fought. Because I think it's the first one you come across organically playing. Um, yeah, because you go down, across the bridge, and then you're like, oh, there's the bridge, so let's go all the way down the bridge, and then, yeah. Alright, Gritty. It's you and me versus the world. Hey, bud. Oh, I don't have my cocktails equipped. Shit. I miss. All I have to do is stay on his ass. Try and get as many hits in as I can while he's doing his little yellies. Jump. And roll. That camera. Oh, hell yeah. 
that is also really good. The uh, the sound design when you get uh, you're able to get a visceral attack. Oh god! Oh god! Don't like that! Don't like that! That's cleric beast. 